hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is ohima if you're new here welcome consider subscribing and turning on your notification so you can get notified every time i upload a new video okay <laughs> so i did one look on live and my mom was watching and she told me to just stop playing around and just do my full face and as I did get a lot of requests to go ahead and do a full face so you guys can see how I did it in general because only the people on live saw how I did this look. It was like an impromptu, I don't know where, let's just have fun kind of look. So what I'm going to start doing is prepping my eyelids for the eyeshadow. I go in with the e.l.f. Camel Concealer and I use that to clean the bottom of my brows. I have a video on eyeshadow prep on the primers or the eyeshadow bases that I use. I also have a video on the eyeshadow primers that I use and how I prep my eyes for eyeshadow I will link that down below okay down below so you can go watch it out because this part is gonna be really super quick and I do the same thing for every look that I'm gonna do it just depends on what color base I'm gonna use the color base depends on how intense my eye look is gonna be okay but for this video I just use the same shade I used to clean up my brows. No, no, no. I used a, I used one shade lighter than that, and I used that to go ahead and apply all over my eyelids. And I blended that baby in with a blending brush. All this info is in my how to prep your eyeshadow base video. That's eyeshadow 101 base prep and all of that good stuff. It's gonna be down below so you can watch it after you watch this video okay now after i went ahead and blended my base i decided to go in with the juvia's place chocolates palette this palette is my favorite face palette i know it's an eyeshadow palette but it's actually my favorite face palette but i also like to use it as an eyeshadow palette because that's what it was made for okay so i applied that shade i showed you guys all over my crease and then i blended it up you know just make sure to stamp it in Ooh, talking just makes me yawn so much anyway so i stamp it in okay like stamp 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 it in and just build up that color that intensity because even though it's not going to be like super super intensely transitioned i just wanted that shade to show up really really nicely okay and then i went in with this second shade to blend it out to not make to give it like a little brownish deep rich mm, chocolatey yummy yummy <laughs> i'm hungry <laughs> i'm hungry so i'm using food words but you know just to make it that beautiful rich deep chocolate shade that's why i added that shade and it also helps the transition look just beautiful and effortless and then i decided to go in with the elf camel concealer i like this concealer because it is super 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 thick if you have hooded eyes mark your eyes before you cut your crease and what i always do is i cut above where my eyelids stop Whew. who else yawns when they're talking so much like all at once i'm talking a lot at once right now my body's like what are you doing anyway so i cut my crease at that point and just make sure that it's visible when i look up because if i cut exactly where my eyelids mark my eyes you're not gonna see the shimmer shades when i open my eyes or when i'm looking straight at you
after I cut it, I go in and, you know, just set it with that Juvia's Place shade that I showed you guys. I set my whole eyelid because I know I'm going to put a glitter base on top of that. I want the glitter base to actually be able to hold on to something. Now, if my, if my concealer was still wet, then the glitter base or the glitter glue or glitter adhesive, not glitter base, the glitter adhesive would not hold on very well. So I actually set my eyelids completely. It was dry and powdery by the time I finished setting it, okay? With my NYX Li Matte Liquid Eyeliner, I learned this trick a while ago that said that if you're going to put a liner on a glitter eye look, you should line your eyes first before you put the glitter on your eyes. That way you can work the glitter around the liner you did and your liner will still be nice and straight and super fresh, right? Now after I lined my eyes, I decided that I wanted a different kind of transition because I wanted the blue to match. I wanted something to kind of complement the blue liner that I was going to put in. So I used the Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette. I feel like not a lot of people know about the Magic Mini Palette, but I love the. I think the Magic Mini Palette is my favorite palette because it has very beautiful, very deep, very intense shades in there. But it also has this beautiful golden shade and that shade just captures me okay so i use that shade and i take that purple shade i showed you and and i use that to blend out into the liner that i did and that gives it like a little bit of a different dimension so it's not just a black liner on my eye i added that purple in it to give it a different kind of look that's literally the only reason why I used it. I don't have any other explanation for it. It's just supposed to give it like a different look. And it also helped me shape the eye look exactly how I wanted it to be, okay? I'm using mostly Julius Place and Huda Beauty brushes in this video. I will try to link the brushes down below if I can remember them. If not, then, you know, any of the Huda, any of the Huda Beauty brushes and the Juvia's Place brushes will do. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glitter Adhesive, I apply that exactly where I cut my crease. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with that Kiki Adams Glitter, Glow Up Academy Glitter. This one is Penny, is it Penny Up? This one is Penny Shift. So I, this is what pen shift looks like and I put pen shift all over the parts of my eyes where I put the ABH glitter adhesive. Now I'm not just like lightly patting, I'm pushing it into the glitter base because I want it to be able to attach to the glitter adhesive very, very nicely. 
so we're just pushing it in and yeah we're pushing it in that's that's just what i could say right now <laughs> and then i go in with the second coat of the glitter adhesive and i apply some more glitter on top of that because i want all the glitters to stay so whatever's gonna fall off is gonna fall off and then after that whatever is gonna stay will stay okay After I applied my glitter my eyelid felt cold so that told me that it was still wet so I kept my eyes closed and I fanned it now remember I have hooded eyes so if I open my eyes too soon before my glitter dries it's gonna crease okay and I don't want it to crease so I had to close my eyes and you know make sure it's dry now getting this glitter off my face that's why I don't like loose glitter that's why I don't like loose glitter because it gets everywhere but I saw someone use this tape method so I'm doing it so I'm doing it too uh. mm. goodness okay so I'm using the next epic wear waterproof eyeliner so they came out with new liners and they come in several different colors I decided to use the blue shade that came in there no particular reason those blue on my table so I picked it up and just started using it so after okay and I'm, i actually slowed this down so you guys can see exactly how i lined my eyes After I line my eyes, I go ahead and I close my eyes again and I fan this thing for as long as I feel it's needed so it can dry because once again, if I open my eyes too soon, that liner is going to transfer onto my glitter and it's not going to look good, okay? 
Now let's go ahead and do a quick skin routine. Going in with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Apply that all over my face and it's almost done. So yeah, I need more. Um, and then I go in with the Jackie Aina Too Faced collab where she helped with the shade extensions. And I am the shade Truffle sometimes. Well, I'm the shade Truffle most times, but yesterday I used the shade Ganache. So yes, I got darker. Um, and then I go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Rich Cocoa. And I apply that all over my face, blended it in with it with an e.l.f. Beauty Sponge. Going in with a Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. I use it as a light contour because it is very cool. So I like using it as a light contour. Like on the days that I just want like a subtle kind of contour, that's when I use these. Um, and you know, if I use a really darker, if I use a darker foundation, you probably wouldn't even see it, but you know. Then I go in with the cream blush, and this is the pink one, something, something. I can't, purple one. This is the purple one. I go ahead and fill in my brows. back to the eyes so i go in with the la girl shock wave neon liners these are buttery soft and they transfer onto your waterline so beautifully do you, do you i mean you saw how many swipes it took to get the color intensity then i go into the juvia's place magic mini palette and i take that same purple shade and i use that to contrast that beautiful pale blue green shade in my waterline and i blended that in so that it could just make it look so good i'm sorry i blended that in <laughs> i blended that in and then i took one of the red shades in the magic mini palette and i used that to blend below that shade to give it like a really nice transition the magic mini is a really gorgeous palette if you don't have it go check it out because i really really love magic mini magic mini is so next i'm going in with the ColourPop volumizing color mascaras last time i checked on the website i didn't find them so i don't know if they're still there but if they are definitely pick them up because they add a little bit of something extra to any look but i'm taking this lilac shade right now i think this is lilac you a lot i'm not sure no that's the eyeshadow palette anyway i'm taking the lilac shade and i'm using that on my lower lashes then i go in with the anastasia beverly hills mascara on my upper lashes now time to clean up this contour a bit and you know just contour my nose now i'm using one of the juvia's place brushes this is the, sh the brush j127 i like this because it has like a little rounded tip so it doesn't give me like a super sharp line but it's like very precise enough and because it's a blending brush it blows up the the contour a lot and i really like using the, this particular brush this specific brush to contour my nose like most of the time this is the one i use to contour my nose Okay, so after I contour my nose, I go over it with a little bit of my face setting powder to sort of um, blur out the nose lines. Going in with the Bonsa Beauty Ahema Trio Palette, eyelash palette. I'm taking this middle one. I really like the shape of the middle one. I like what it does when you add it to a look. Makes it super, super dramatic. Even if your look is not dramatic, this lash will make it super dramatic, okay? Now, this is like a little mini how I apply my lashes tutorial, but I mean, you saw where I placed it. I put it very close to my lash line and then I push it into the skin. That way it's like really super flush with the lashes. And you know, that's how I put it on. I mean, you have to practice. Whenever I first started, my lashes would go like 
uh, way above that but if you have a handheld mirror and you look down and you apply it and you keep practicing it's it gets easier going in with that huda beauty 3d highlighter palette i used a little bit of that but what i didn't realize was that my cheek was still kind of for lack of a better word greasy from the cream contour or the cream blush and the cream blush like held onto the highlighter but i blended it out and looked really really good going in with this carity lippy i don't remember the name i don't even think they sell it anymore but you could definitely check it out i will try to see if i can find a link for you if not then i would find other alternatives for you to try out but this is the one that i reached for i couldn't find my fenty one so i used this one guys i got this black neon black opium fragrance from ysl thank you so much ysl i really love the fragrance okay it is absolutely beautiful but this is the look this is the look i came up with on live let me know down below in the comments if you loved this look if you enjoyed it let me know if you were here at 1 a.m when i was trying to pose online for you guys um thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.